Welcome back live here to the Brevard Sports Network live from Vieira Regional Park for 11U action between the Port Orange Hawks and the Vieira Sun Tree Hawks in the last game. Port Orange came out on top. All right, here we are. I'm 13 to six. First down here for Sun Tree Vieira. They run it up the middle there. Number 22 on the carry, Elijah Lewis. Starts the Hawks off with a gain, or the Vieira Hawks off with a gain of two. So after the first down, gain of two by Lewis, second and eight. Running it here again to the right side. He has an edge there down the sideline. That'll be a first down for the Vieira Hawks. Once again, I believe number number 20 or 28. Uh, they said Braden Teeter. Braden Teeter, number 20 there on the carry. First down and 10 for Suntry Vieira already at their own 47-yard line. Braden Teeter and, and his brother Malachi Teeter both on the same team. First down and 10 for Sun Trivier at their own 47-yard line, 46-yard line actually. The pitch back here, cutting it inside as the whatever lane he saw closed immediately. Again on the carry, number 22, Elijah Lewis. Second and 10 as Port Orange closed the gap on that one. Second and 10 now for Sun Tree Vieira to their own 46 yard line. Quarterback rolls, throws, tries to find his man number 19 there. It's dropped incomplete by Brody Pulliam. Third and 10 now for Sun Tree Vieira. Third and 10 now for Sun Tree Vieira at their own 46 yard line here. Third and 10 here on their first drive. Two minutes into the game. Therefore, eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Quarterback rolling right side. Taking off. Taking up the sideline. He's got room and he's ahead of everybody. Can anyone catch him? 15 10 5 touchdown. Sun Tree Vieira. Quarterback keeper by number 20. Braden Teeter on a gain of 54 and a 54 yard Vieira Hawk touchdown. Wow. The Teeter family has athleticism and you just saw it on display right there. Big keeper there as Teeter just took it to the right side on third and 10 and took it to the house. I believe at 11 you it's still a two point kick. Yes it is. Back to kick it is number 85, I believe. Possibly 86. 86 would be Jensen Jones. That's the kicker out there. Jones kick up, and it is good. Right down the middle, and just like that, with 7.40 to go in the first quarter, the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks take a 8 to nothing lead. Great job there. Way to score quick, way to score fast. This 11U squad, there's not going to be anyone you want to mess around with. Don't want to let them get too big of a lead where you can't come back from. An 8-0 lead after one drive. Got to get some response out of Port Orange. So far on the day, Century Vieira is 2-1, winning 6-U and 8-U, falling in 10-U. First and 10 for Port Orange at their own 35-yard line. All right, first and 10, Port Orange Hawks. 
First and 10, Port Orange at their own 35 yard line. Quarterback under center, nope, he's in the shotgun. He pitches to number 12. Alexander Creasy taking it up, still up, bouncing back and forth. Creasy breaking everyone's tackles on a gain of 10. And a Port Orange first down up to their own 45 yard line as Creasy was just bouncing off everybody, fighting forward for a big gain. Second and one now at their own 44 yard line. Quarterback is Jaden Washington. But Washington at quarterback pitched, pitched to Creasy there. Jaden Washington fakes the pitch this time. He'll take off and he'll fight forward for a solid gain and a first down, flag down after the play. And we're going to have a face mask on Suntree Vieira. More yards coming for Port Orange. Not something you can afford to do right here. You you, you have momentum rolling. You, you just scored on your on your opening drive. You can't give Port Orange this kind of momentum back. A decent gain turns into a huge gain for for Port Orange. Wow, what a... <laughs> Trying to go up the middle there for Port Orange to no gain. Number 13 with the ball. That is Grayson Johnson. So literally what they did is, is essentially because Grayson Johnson is uh, uh, um, vertically challenged, let's say. Um, he's literally just like kneeling down, just squatting down behind his line and then just choosing a way to go. Third down here for Port Orange coming up. If uh, if you can hear us, uh, let us know. Third down and four, or third down and six for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 30-yard line. And we got whistles and flags before the play. Looks like this one might come on Sun Tree Vieira. That'll be an offsides call. Third down and one now for Port Orange as we have a timeout on the field. 5.08 to go in the first quarter. 8-0, to zero, Sun Tree Vieira leads after a first drive touchdown. And now it's Port Orange's turn driving here at the timeout. All right, I'd like to give a shout out to another one of our great partners. Slow and Low Barbecue Grill, Bar and Grill. Slow and Low Barbecue is... Founded by Nicole and Joel Smith in 2004, despite a difficult, a difficult year with Hurricanes, Francis and Jean, with heart and dedication, they managed to open another restaurant in Vieira. Slow and low barbecue and grill, bar and grill, focuses on each customer's happiness and preference, and their experienced chefs put a creative twist on every dish, preparing crispy, appetizing, and delicious ribs, pork, chicken, and enormous turkey legs. Third and one, the push up the center for Port Orange gives them the first down inside the Sun Tree Vieira red zone here. First and 10 at the Sun Tree Vieira 16 yard line. First down and 10 now for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 15 yard line. Here goes the run again up the middle for Port Orange. No big gain there. Second and long. Actually a solid gain there more than I thought. A gain of four. Second and six now for Port Orange for the Sun Tree Vieira 11-yard line. Second and six for Port Orange. Quarterback under center. It's muffed. Ball on the ground. Dove on by Sun Tree Vieira. There's a flag down. 
The penalty on Port Orange is declined. Turnover on the fumble recovery by Sundry Vieira. So the big Port Orange drive ends in a turnover. Wow. It was weird. The quarterback squatted all the way down and it bounced off his hand onto the ground and Suntry Vieira dove on it. Oh, that, that, that's just how he takes a snap. They. That's just how he, uh, he takes his snaps. Uh, he, he realizes he might be able to have an advantage, so he squats below his offensive line and just picks a hole and go. Either way, fumble recovered now by Sun Trivier. They take over first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Not great field position for him, but nevertheless, they get the ball back, leading 8-0 to zero with 3.45 to go in the first quarter. Run up the middle, not a lot of gain there as he ran right into the uh, Port Orange defensive line. Second and nine now for Sun Tree Vieira. At their own 13 yard line, second and nine for Sun Tree Vieira. As they're going to try and run it again up the middle, and the Port Orange defensive line not giving an inch down there in the trenches. Third and 10 now for Sun Tree Vieira deep in their own territory so a great fumble recovery but they got to get or try and get something out of it here under three minutes to go in the first quarter third down and ten for Sun Tree Vieira deep in their own territory they're going to run it to the right side, taking off with a little bit more space, but not enough to get them near the first down line to gain. Fourth and about four here for Sun Tree Vieira, deep in their own territory. 2.25 to go in the first quarter. Sun Tree Vieira leads Port Orange 8 to 0 in the 11 U game. I, uh, I don't know the kicking situation, so I'm going to assume they're going to go for it. I believe so. They do. They got to pick a good play call here because they're deep in their own territory. And after stopping the Port Orange drive, I know they don't want to give them the ball back right where they left off. I don't know. They, they. I think they're punting. They are. Here comes the punt. High in the air, not going too far. And the bounce comes right back at them. So that ball, that punt ends up within that first down chains. So Port Orange takes over in great territory inside the uh, Sun Tree Vieira 35 yard line, actually inside the red zone at the Sun Tree Vieira 20, and that's a great place to start if you're Port Orange. They are in, let's choose Uberzati red zone. Sounds good to me. First down and 10 for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 19 yard line. Actually, let's go uh, Connect Sports Funding and Consulting. Snap. Taking it right up the middle for no gain. Great job getting in there by Sun Tree Vieira. Big number three. That is maybe number two, actually. If that was number two, that'd be Joshua McFarlane. Only a gain of one. It'll be second and nine. The carry up the middle by number 13, Grayson Johnson, the quarterback. Second and nine now for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira, 18 yard line. Snap, rolling right side, throwing over the top, has his man, it's hold in, going all the way, touchdown Port Orange. From 18 yards out, number eight, Liam Leone from quarterback Jaden Washington for the touchdown. A great response there by Port Orange after their long first drive ended in a turnover. Their second drive is a quick score with 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. See if they go for the kick to tie or the one to cut it to one. Depends on their situation. Looks like they're going for one here. As they're going to try and run up the middle of the Wildcat. Look, pushing it through for the one-point conversion was Alexander Creasy. 
Port, as Sean Trivera still leads Port Orange, eight to seven, 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. We'll be right back. Welcome back live to Vieira Regional Park. First and 10, Sun Tree Vieira at their own 35. They lead early in this 11U game. Eight to seven here. As they're only gonna have about one or two more plays before the end of the first quarter. The give on the reverse, or the jet sweep, getting around the edge. Great running room, he's gonna pick up a first down. That was number 22, Aliyah Lewis on the carry there. He actually was out before the line to gain second and about two now for Sun Tree Vieira. Clock stops with 19 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second and one or two now for Sun Tree Vieira. It'll be second and one at their own 44 yard line. Here they go, second and one. The run up the middle for no gain, or actually a loss here. As Port Orange defense was on it immediately for a loss. And that will be the end of our first quarter of play. Some decent scoring here in the first quarter. Sun Tree Vieira leads Port Orange eight to seven here to start the 11U game. Hello Space Coast, Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support of BSN and allowing us to cover your student athletes and come into your home each and every night. Give us a follow on Facebook at Brevard Sports Network and here's the many more years of top-notch sports coverage right here in Brevard County. Thanks again. I'm Marcus May and you're watching Brevard Sports Network. My man. I'd like to thank our uh, our good friend and uh, New Orleans Saint uh, Marcus May for the comeback. For uh, our county, is one less uh, New Orleans Saint now converted uh, Philadelphia Eagle Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Third and eight or third and two now for Sun Tree Vieira at their own 44 as we have a timeout by Port Orange to start the second quarter. Obviously still 10 minutes to go, 8-7 Sun Tree Vieira leads third and two. I, uh, it's not something you want to do, have to do as a, as a coach. No, you, clock's already stopped. The, the clock, clock stopped, you just came out of, uh, in between the quarter break. And you have to call timeout? Not a, it's not a good huddle to be in. No. Something was out of place. They didn't like it. I mean, it's a third and two, a big stop if you can get it. Third and two for Sun Tree Vieira at their own 43 yard line. Quarterback under center here. And they're going to jump. Wow. A big jump there on the defensive side, and that'll bring up a Sun Tree Vieira first down on the offsides. I mean, I think everybody that could jump did. Sometimes it's good to be on your toes on the D line, sometimes it's not. <laughs> right there. Got to lay back a little and. 
be ready to go when the ball is actually snapped. First and 10, Sun Trivier at their own 48. Quarterback stays under center, rolls, pitches, and oh my goodness, streaking in to get the tackle there. Jaden Washington. And he says, well, we gave him the first, but I'm going to take all those yards back and more on a loss of seven. Second and 17 now for Sun Trivieira. He was shot out of a cannon. He lit up Elia Lewis, the running back there. <laughs> Coach for this 11U team for Sun Trivieira, Josh Jones. Second and 17 now for Sun Trivieira. Second and 17 now for Vieira. Rolling right side. Pulliam. He's going to take off again. Pulliam down the sideline. Breaking tackles. Te all the way down. That's not Pulliam. That is Braden Teeter. My mistake. Braden Teeter once again on the big run down the sideline. Wow. Teeter had that one big touchdown to get him on the board. And he does it again down the sideline. Not for a touchdown, but for a big gain. And a first and 10. Suntree Vieira. At the Port Orange 34-yard line. Yeah, that was a 54-yarder. Big run there down the sideline. Only had one man to beat there. First down and 10 now for Sun Triviera. Handoff up the middle, and he's still fighting, but not a lot of gain, if any, there by Elia Lewis. D-line for Port Orange holding down, holding down the hatches there on the D-line, making sure nothing gets through. Holding down the fort for sure there on that D-line, looking like a brick wall right now. Second and 10 still for Sun Triviera. Second and 10 now for Sun Tree Vieira at the Port Orange 24 yard line, actually. Under eight minutes to go in the second quarter here. Braden Teeter under the gun. And Teeter going to run left side this time. He's got blockers. Teeter cuts inside, cutting up the sideline. Ball is out, and Port Orange is on it right next to the goal line. And on the fumble recovery for Port Orange, number 21, Jaden Washington. He had that big hit earlier in the drive, and now he picks up a fumble recovery. First down, Port Orange, but they're all the way back at their own one or two yard line. So close to the end zone for Teeter. But he wasn't safe as the Port Orange defense forces the turnover. Wow. You, you want to talk about a turn of events right there. What we thought was going to be a Braden Teeter touchdown, his second of the day, turns into a fumble at the, at the goal line. And first and 10 from the one. Yeah, first and 10 now from the two-yard line for the Port Orange Hawks. Seven minutes to go in the third quarter here. Ball being bobbled back in the backfield there and he'll be ripped down for no gain by number 17. Julian Nazario brings him down in the backfield. Second and 10 now still at the two for Port Orange. Second and 10 now for Port Orange. Still at the goal line. Their own goal line, that is. Got to be aware of a safety here. Would not be great to have. Um, back here, going to run right side. And he'll be met nearly immediately there. He gets a decent gain, though, better than before. And that'll bring up third down 
for Port Orange. Actually a solid gain. That'll bring up about a third and five up to the seven-yard line. So now they might have a little bit more options of what they want to do here is they have a little bit more space up to their own seven. Six minutes to go now in the second quarter. Third and five. Quarterback airing it out. Into double coverage incomplete. Looking for number 12, Alexander Creasy. Doesn't find him. Fourth and five now for Port Orange at their own 17-yard line. Now this is where it's really dangerous. You don't know the kicking situation. And you, you've got to pick it up. Look like there might have been a flag on the play. Seems like a penalty on Port Orange and a legal man downfield. I think it was declined, though. Fourth and five now for Port Orange. They're on 17. Timeout on the field with 5.45 to go in the first half. Sun Tree Vieira leads Port Orange 8-7. to seven. I'd like to tell you more about one of our great sponsors, Kel Clean. There's the read. Kel Clean provides the best quality cleaning services from janitorial, tile and grout cleaning, stripping and refinishing floors, pressure washing, gutter cleaning, and roof soft wash, roof, roof soft washing at a very reason at very reasonable prices. Serving most of Brevard County, fa family owned and operated, Kel Clean wants to make you a lifetime customer the first time. Call for your free estimate at 321-505-7006 or check them out online at www.kelclean.com and on Facebook under at Kel Clean. That's Kel and Clean with a K. Fourth and five coming up here for Port Orange at their own 17-yard line. This would be a big change of possession here. Vieira picks it up, and that's a sack for a big loss by the Vieira Hawk defense. First and goal now for the Sun Tree of Hawks. So although they fumbled at the goal line, they'll take it back with first and goal to go. All the way back down to the two-yard line, it looks like. So the only thing Vieira lost there was time, not field position at all. First and goal, Vieira Hawks. I think about having a sound defense like that is, yeah, you, you may have, you know, coughed it up down there, but the defense made sure you didn't lose anything but may, maybe a yard. Especially when you know the other team doesn't have a great kicking situation. The defense's job is there just to hold the field position. First and goal for Vieira. The pitch outside cutting back inside. But once again, the Port Orange defense right on him in the backfield. It was Elia Lewis on the pitch, but that's going to be a loss. Second and goal at the five. Now for Sun Tree Vieira. Five minutes, nearing five minutes to go in the first half. When um, when you're this close to the goal line, you don't run a lot of... It, if you're going to run east and west, it needs to be like northeast, northwest. Mm -hmm. You need to be going forward, not, you know... A toss play outside. Yes. Second now, second and goal now for Vieira at the Port Orange five-yard line. Quarterback drops, rolls right, and he is... Sacked for a big loss there by once again the Port Orange defense number 52 Rasheem Williams gets there and now third and goal from the 12 for Sun Tree Vieira as they got to start going. Zondergaard got to start getting some yards here. So you go from first and goal at the two to now third and goal at, at the 12. At the 12. 10 yards lost on first and second down. Defense is giving you the stops in the field position. The offense just isn't following through right now. Four minutes to go in the first half. Sun Tree Vieira, third and goal at the 12. I mean, we saw they have a kicker. It's just they got to get a little closer maybe. I don't know how far they can kick. Teeter drops. Rolls right side. Looking to take off. Teeter down the sideline once again. Braden Teeter. 
getting closer there, but not a huge gain as he tried to catch that edge again. Port Orange stopped him there. Fourth and goal now for v Suntry Vieira from the Port Orange 10 yard line. Guessing they're gonna have to go for it here. And we got a timeout on the field. Timeout Vieira, 3.30 to go in the first half. The Suntry Vieira Hawks lead the Port Orange Hawks eight to seven with a fourth and goal coming up. Welcome back everyone, fourth and goal, Sun Tree Vieira from the Port Orange 10 yard line and a drive that started at the two, backed up to the 12, now up to the 10. As Sun Tree Vieira looking to extend their lead, they currently lead it eight to seven. As whistles before the play. I'm assuming there might be flags down somewhere, no? No. I guess maybe there wasn't a whistle to start play yet. Maybe. Either way, fourth and goal from the 10. Quarterback dropping, trying to flip field, rolling right side, Teeter cutting back in, Braden Teeter diving for the end zone or getting hit towards the goal line, but he is short. Once again, the Port Orange defense with a big stop towards the goal line and we'll take a water break here. 3.15 to go now in the first half. Sun Vieira still leads 8-7. Once again, it'll be first down for Port Orange at their own five-yard line. I'd like to let you know about the game day sponsors here for Sun Vieira Youth Football and Cheer. Dick's Sporting Goods, Stacy Ann, Zeller Real Estate. Buying or selling a home? Give Stacy a call. Ice Cream Hut with three locations in Brevard. Stop in at the Vieira location today after the game in your jersey and you get a free cone with a purchase. W&J Construction, DirecTV, GMC Melbourne, Performa Imaging, Uberzati, DSP, Mr. Delicious Pizza, your only Vieira pizza go-to. Flex Integrated Muscular Therapy, Scott Woodruff, Allstate Insurance, Gino's Italian Ice, Bill's Barbecue, and Jay's, Jay's Hot Dogs and Ice Cream. And the pitch here, they're trying to flip the field here. Good run here by Port Orange. Solid gain there, and they get some space on that run. And it'll be enough for a Port Orange first down there on their first play of the drive. Mixing it up a little bit there on that run. Didn't see the number, I believe actually it was number 52 who had it, Rasheem Williams on the carry. First and 10. Sun Vieira at their own 54 yard line, rolling the other way this time, taking off, cutting back inside up the middle. Still fighting, breaking tackles, trying to take it up the sideline. No one can bring him down. Creasy down the sideline, still going. Alexander Creasy finally brought down after a huge gain with 10 plus broken tackles as nobody could bring down Alexander Creasy as he takes it all the way to the Sun Tree Vieira 32 yard line. Wow. You wanna talk about needing to put a spark in your offense. He, he, I think he just did that. 
And another stoppage here. Timeout, Port Orange. 2.25 to go in the first half. Sun Tree Vieira leading 8-7. I, I, I like that timeout call there. Call a timeout. Regroup everybody. And, you know, get, 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 give the uh, offensive lineman a chance to get that swig of water because, you know, it, it takes a lot to, to get us offensive linemen de- uh, downfield. <laughs> I don't care, good, bad, or, g- good or bad. First and 10 now for Port Orange from the Sun Tree Vieira 33 yard line. So first down and 10 again. Port Orange is now at the Sun Tree Vieira 33, 225 to go in the first half. Again, this is the 11U action between Port Orange and Sun Tree Vieira. First and 10, Port Orange. Man in motion behind the quarterback. He'll take the pitch here. And here he goes off the toss for a solid gain by Rasheem Williams. Second down and about three or four here from the Sun Tree Vieira 26 yard line. Solid run there before he met the Vieira defense. Second and four for Port Orange. Still in Suntree Vieira territory. Definitely wanted to get some points on the board before halftime. Man in motion again. The toss again to Williams. Williams cutting it up the middle. Still going, fighting outside. And he'll be brought down after a decent gain for a Port Orange first down. Look, if we've seen anything about these uh, Port Orange backs and receivers, it's going to take more than one hit to bring them down. you got to gang tackle them and, and wrap up the legs. First down and 10, Port Orange for the Sun Tree Vera, 21. There's Creasy again. Creasy with the edge. Alexander Creasy had a big run to set him up, and he finishes it off with a 21-yard touchdown run to put Port Orange ahead. Now 13 to eight with a minute five to go in the first half. Great job by the lead blockers out there getting away and basically paving the way. And you know what? Good job by Creasy because sometimes you see yourself you see yourself heading to the end zone. You have this sometimes instinct to jump out ahead of your blockers because you think you can get there. Good job being patient, staying behind your your hogs as we as us offensive linemen are called. Your entourage. Yes, there we go. Your your entourage. And letting them lead you to the end zone. Great, great play, great design, and great job by Creasy. There they go for the one point conversion here. The run up the middle by number 63. And I believe he'll be back and forth pushing at the goal line as he gets across Elijah Mitchell. No, not the 49ers running back, the Port Orange back with the score 14 to 8 with a minute and 5 to go in the first half. That touchdown was brought to you by Best Private Investigations. Cuz I'm I'm sure uh head coach Josh Jones is going to be investigating what went wrong on that defensive play. I know, I know. Bad joke. It's great to see Elijah Mitchell come back and play some youth football. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't know, he is the uh, San Francisco 49ers running back, same name. Somehow he's dropped down to play here for Port Orange. Number 63, that is Elijah Mitchell on the carry for the conversion there. I, I, I actually probably say this Elijah Mitchell, you know, just might give uh, 49ers Elijah Mitchell a run for his money. Yeah, why not? First and 10. The pitch here on first down, trying to get around the edge. 
Has some blocks here, trying to turn it upfield. The Port Orange defense actually still fighting forward, so that'll be a solid gain by number 17. That would be Julian Nazario. Second and four now for Sun Triviera at their own 41. And we have another timeout here on the field. Timeout, Sun Triviera, 35 seconds to go in the first half as they're looking to set up some big plays here to score before the half. Port Orange leads Sun Triviera 14-8. Welcome back here to Vieira Regional Park. Second and four, Sun Tree Vieira at their own 41. 35 seconds to go before half. Under center, tossing the other way this time to Nazario. Nazario with some space. Julian Nazario turning it up the sideline. Flags down. And the clock will stop here. 25 seconds to go. Flags down as Nazario initially picked up the first down. See what the flags on the field are. Illegal block in the back on Vieira. So that will come back in the big run by Nazario will be negated and that'll bring up they're still trying to find out where to spot it this one's going to come all the way back that's a big loss there on the block in the back call second and 12 now for Sun Tree Vieira at their own 33 yard line The clock ticking now inside 20 seconds. I'm guessing Vieira may take one shot or just run this half out here. 10 seconds to go now. Last chance here. Quarterback drops, rolling right side. Teeter sheds the first tackle, sheds the second. There goes three down. Teeter, he'll be pulled out. And that will be the end of our first half of play here in the 11U game as the Port Orange Hawks lead the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks. 14 to 8. We'll be we'll be right back with second half action right here on the Brevard Sports Network in about 10 minutes.
Welcome back everyone live to Vieira Regional Park here for the start of the second half of action here in the 11U game between the Port Orange Hawks and the Vieira Suntree Hawks. Currently Port Orange leads 14 to 8 as we run out to start the second half. First down and 10 now coming up for Port Orange at their own 35 yard line. Still a close one here. Port Orange would love to start the second half off with a score though. I know that. Low snap to start. He's going to take off up the middle for a short gain. That is Grayson Johnson. Whenever Johnson seems to be under center, you can expect to run up the middle. That's a gain of about three. At second and seven coming up. For Port Orange at their own 38-yard line. Second and about seven here for Port Orange at their own 38. Stacking the line here on second down. They're going to run up the middle again. Once again by Grayson Johnson for about a gain of one this time. That'll bring up third down and six. At their own 39-yard line, a new-look offense coming out there now. Making sure everyone's getting their, their minimum required. Third and five now for Port Orange at their own 40-yard line. Here they go on third down, airing it out. And that'll be tipped incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth and five now for Port Orange at their own 40-yard line. Fourth and five now for Port Orange at their own 40-yard line. Definitely want to look to convert here. As they jump early here on fourth and five. And that offsides might give, I believe, Port Orange the first down. It'll be around the line again, and it will be a Port Orange first down. I believe it should yep. be. Yep, yep, the. Yep. First down and 10 for Port Orange at their own 45 yard line. That's a costly penalty for Vieira, as that gives Port Orange the first down. First and 10, run right up the middle by Johnson. Grayson Johnson brought down after a short gain up the middle. QB sneak type play, not getting much there. Second and eight coming up now for Port Orange at their own 42 yard line, 47 yard line that is. Second and eight coming up. Port Orange in the shotgun now snap throwing over the top Washington and that route is jumped for the interception taking it down the sideline with space and a, a good return by number 98 on the interception that is Tyson Berry on the interception and oh. return flag on the play block in the back Oh, uh, the block in the back. Still a great interception by Barry, but that one will come back a little bit. It's, uh, look, um, sure, you know, the, there are going to be a lot of old school football players that say, you know, that you're supposed to do that. But look, the rule's been changed for the safety of the kids. They don't, they, 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 you know, they don't want someone getting blindsided and blocked and, you know, it, it, you don't need to be doing that that kind of stuff at, you know, 10, 11, 12. First and 10 now for Sun Tree Bear off the interception at their own 45-yard line. Now their turn, their first drive of the second half. 
seven minutes to go in the third quarter. First and ten Sun Trivia, men in motion. Under centers the quarterback, Teeter. Teeter rolls. They might have been a broken play. Teeter's going to roll out right, taking off. Stiff arm there by Teeter. And he'll be brought down after a short gain of about one or two there. It'll bring up about second and eight. I think that was a broken play. <laughs> that he looked for someone to toss it to. Don't think it was a designed run. No. He wanted to talk. He wanted to toss that ball and realize there is nobody to receive this toss. No. Heads up play, though, taking off. Second and eight now for Sun Triviera at their own 47-yard line. Second and eight. For Sun Triviera at their own 47-yard line. Looking for the pitch again. No one there. Teeter going to have to take off up the middle again. He's going to bounce it outside. Teeter breaking tackles. Great run there by Braden Teeter. He's still going. One, two, three, maybe four efforts there by Teeter. And that will bring up third and one for Suntree Vieira inside Port Orange territory. A third and two now at the Port Orange 47-yard line. It is a scorcher out here in Vieira Regional Park today. But I'll say the the, the, the breeze has kept it at bay. Mm -hmm. Manageable. There we go. Yeah. But we still get to watch football, so it's worth it. Absolutely. That's for sure. Third and two. Here comes the pitch to the outside. Good cut inside. Trying to get the edge. Cutting up field. Great move there by Alia Lewis for the first down. Up to the Port Orange 39-yard line. First down, Suntree Vieira. And we got a timeout on the field for a water break here with 4.50 to go in the third quarter. Port Orange still leads Suntree Vieira 14-8. Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Best Private Investigations for their partnership with us and continuing to support youth and youth sports and prep sports. I'd also like to thank Kendall Signs for their partnership. Kendall Signs has provided a vast array of quality, quality signage, branding, and identity products to a wide range of clientele for more than 15 years. Although Kendall Signs is a Central Florida-based sign company, their reach extends throughout the United States and continues the, continu the manufacturing and custom signs for individual businesses continues within their fabrication plan on the daily basis. However, Kendall Signs provides their products and services on a larger regional and national levels to retail, commercial, and industrial clients who require quality signs, superior project management, and customer service. Need a sign? Call Kendall Signs at 321-636-5116 or visit them online at www.kendallsigns.com. First and 10 for Sun Tree Vieira now at the Port Orange 39 yard line. Solid drive here by Sun Tree Vieira following the interception. As now they're up to about where that interception return ended before it was called back. First and 10. Quarterback under center dropping. Surveying, that's Teeter dropping far, far back. He's got to throw it somewhere and that's going to be a huge sack. A huge loss by number one and number, I know number one was in there. That was Cole Morgan. He was accompanied by another Port Orange defender, but that is second and forever. As Suntree Veers back at their own 46. First down is at the Port Orange 29. As our uh, good friend Sean Hartman used to call it, uh, Second and a trip to Jamaica. Yeah. It's long. Uh, 
That would be second and 25 officially. Second and 25 now for Vieira at their own 46 yard line. Snapped, handed off. Mitchell running back and forth here, trying to flip field. That's going to be a loss of more here by Elia Lewis. Flags on the play. Cole Morgan again on the pressure. And the flag's waved off. Still a loss of about four. Loss of about three now. 28, third and 28 that is now for Sun Triviera. You just got to get some yards here. I mean, may not be enough to get the first, but give yourselves a chance. Third and 28 now for Sun Triviera at their own 43 yard line. Quarterback drops. Teeter just going to take off to the right side. Teeter trying to keep it upfield. Many flags on the field. As Teeter didn't get really any yards there, but flags from all three officials, so something was definitely seen. And that will be a face mask on Port Orange, so that is some of the yards you want if you're Vieira to get back there after a little to no gain. So that'll give Vieira a little bit of a better chance here to convert. Keep it third down, I believe. Yes, it will. And now, yeah, instead of third and... Instead of third and 28, third and 13 now at the Port Orange 42. I mean, still third and long, but... Uh, Definitely so. more manageable. <laughs> That's a great break there for Sun Trivier on the penalty. Third and 13 now at the Port Orange 42-yard line. Man in motion they give to him, Malaya Lewis. Lewis up the middle, breaking tackles. And flags down again. Possibly another face mask. I saw him grab something on the Lewis spin. I might be mistaken. It is a face mask, again. So that will give, somehow, Sun Vieira picks up the first down after once being out of third and 28. And those two penalties combined for 30 yards, which is enough for a Vieira Hawk. Well, actually that's a 10 yard penalty. Don't know why that face mask was a 10 yard penalty instead. Maybe motion face mask. So I'd, I don't know why that wouldn't be. Third and three now for Sun Tree Vieira at the Port Orange 38 yard line, or sorry, 32 yard line. As Teeter turning it back, trying to cut it up field. But he's running south instead of north. Actually, as there's a loss, fourth down here for fourth and short still for Sun Tree Vieira. At the Port Orange 32 yard line, fourth and four. Fourth and three actually. So with all this, the penalties they've gotten and all this, if you're Sun Trivier, you've got to convert here. A minute to go in the third quarter. They still trail by six. Fourth and three for Sun Trivier at the Port Orange 32-yard line. Stacked backfield, stacked line. Everyone compact here. Teeter turns, gives the fullback. And... He is stopped there by the Port Orange defensive line. And despite all that, a turnover on down still for the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks. First down for Port Orange at their own 32-yard line. Great stand there by the defense. Incredible stand with a lot 
I mean, they were sticking them up for a while, and then with some penalties, Vieira got in uh, striking range of the first down, but Port Orange held them tight there as they have been as they had been the whole drive. First down, Port Orange at their own 32-yard line. 42 seconds to go. We got flags and whistles here before the play. That'll be a false start, so that'll back it up first and 15 now for Port Orange. First and 15 now for Port Orange at their own 27-yard line. First and 15, the pitch to Creasy. Creasy's been hard to bring down all day. He's cutting back, breaking tackles. Creasy down the sideline, another stiff arm. Alexander Creasy tries to cut back, but he'll be brought down out of bounds after a big gain. Brought down by number 20. Braden Teeter, but another big run by Alexander Creasy. Puts him in Vieira territory and until they can stop Alexander Creasy. I would say Port Orange is still in control. 15 seconds to go in the third quarter. You know, that, 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 that's one. His, 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 coach is, his coach is probably going to pull him to the side, you know, after the game or, you know, when they review the film and say, listen, uh, you know, probably the better, better option is you're already running full speed. Just keep Keep running full speed. Don't don't try to cut back. First and ten. The run up the middle. The keeper up the middle. There's space. Holes made by the O line. The big run there by number 21, Jaden Washington, for yet another Port Orange first down. So a big drive here by Port Orange. Right at the end of the third quarter. And that will be the end of our third quarter. Here in the 11U game, Port Orange leads Sundry Vieira 14 to 8. As the fourth quarter will tell us who comes out on top in this one. Keep it here. Welcome back live to Vieira Regional Park. First and 10, Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 25-yard line. Port Orange leads 14-8 here and the 11-U action here. Two games following this one still to come, 12-U and 14-U. First and 10, quarterback gives up the middle, cutting back, cutting outside. A solid carry there by Jaden Washington. for a gain of about five yards. Puts them inside the red zone at the Vieira 20 yard line. Here 
Here comes second and five. Second and five, Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 20 yard line. They toss it and flags down. That'll be a false start. So that'll back up Port Orange back to second and 10 at the original line of scrimmage at the 25 yard line. Second and five, or second and 10 now for Port Orange on the five yard penalty. Second and 10 now for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 25 yard line. Play fake. Creasy going to keep it up the middle. Can they stop Alexander Creasy? Good swarming. D their ball pops out there. If they call it a fumble, it's Vieira's ball. And they say he was down. That'll bring up third down for Port Orange. Good job by Vieira bringing down Creasy that time. Thankfully, no rain today. Get a clear day for football. Third and four now for Port Orange at the Sun Tree Vieira 19 yard line. Creasy again, gonna take it right up the middle. Alexander Creasy pushing forward, still moving, still moving. Creasy finally brought down inside the 10 yard line. First and goal. First and goal for Port Orange inside the Vieira 10 yard line up to the nine. Again, first and goal, Port Orange at the Vieira nine. Port Orange leads by six here with seven and a half minutes to go. This would be a big score if they could pick it up. Obviously an update if no one has heard, the Artemis one launch was scrubbed today earlier. Obviously it would have been up by now. I believe, yes. Window will be, I believe, in October now. That's what I'm hearing. So, unfortunate there for the monumental launch. Still yet to come. Run up the middle here by Jaden Washington. Nearly untouched. And he's brought down inside the end zone. Very port orange touchdown. Jaden Washington. Wash, though, at, at the end of that touchdown run, he went down and... He's still down. Again, we, we, we do not show injuries. We, we don't speculate. Port Orange, though, picks up the big touchdown there with 7.05 to go in the game. Port Orange leads now 20 to 8. And now, Vieira, this is much score time, must score time, in my opinion. With only seven minutes to go, trailing by two touchdowns. Got to get something going on this drive. As we just showed you, Washington is up, walking un under his own power. Looks a little scary, not going to lie. He, uh, he, he got into the end zone, and then it's almost like as he went down, he just he, he curled up. So here comes Port Orange once again for the one-point conversion. As now they've rattled off 20 unanswered points since going down after the first drive. Here they go. Snap. Going to run it right up the middle and he'll walk it in there. Cole Morgan with the conversion for Port Orange. And now they take a 21-8 lead. 7.05 to go in the game. And Sun Tree Vieira got to get a touchdown here as they haven't scored since their first drive of the game. You know, uh, look. Here's the situation. It's uh, been Port, Port Orange has been able to sustain drives, and when opportunities have come to Port Orange, they have capitalized. Vier on that last Vieira drive, their drive was kept alive by two back-to-back -back face masks when they were at third and 28. Yeah, and you remember earlier in the game, they got all the way to the two-yard line. Teeter fumbled. They had another chance, didn't get in, and then after that, obviously, their field position got squandered. And that could have made this game a lot closer. So it's just those opportunities. Their defense was holding them for a while. 
but now it's the offense that has to take control. Again, college football Saturday today, but we also have youth football Saturday. Keep it here all day until so have 12U and 14U action coming up. Don't miss it. First and 10. Vieira from their own 35, the pitch to Lewis. Lewis taking up the sideline. Lewis with space. Lewis, Elia Lewis says, let me show you what I can do. Lewis down the sideline, and he takes it all the way. First play of the drive, a 65-yard Elia Lewis touchdown. And just like that, Sun Tree Vieira is solely back in this game. Wow. Took it down the sideline, didn't he have to break any tackles. He just took off and outraced everybody. 21-14 now, and Vieira can kick. So they could cut it within a touchdown lead if they make the extra point. Or two point. So the lineup for the kick here, which would cut the lead to five. Currently 21-14. They're trying to make it 21-16 here. 6-31 to go. The snap low. Muffed. The conversion no good as a kick wasn't even able to be set up. 21-14. Port Orange leads by 7. 6-31 to go in the game. And Vieira responds fast for their first touchdown since their first drive of the game. One. Welcome back live here to Vieira Regional Park following the Sun Tree Vieira touchdown. It is first and 10 at Port Orange of their own 35. 6 30 to go in the game. Port Orange leads by 7 here in the 11 U game. Still two games following this one 12 U and 14 U. Here they go. The run up the middle. Creasy. Alexander Creasy with space. Trying to break tackles. He's still up. Creasy and not an easy man to bring down. Those feet don't stop moving. Solid carry there by Creasy up near the line to gain. Not quite there. Looks like it'll bring up about a second and two. Again, you, you're not going to bring Creasy down by yourself. You need to wrap, wrap, wrap your arms around his legs and allow your teammates to get over there and, bring, and help you bring him down because he is too elusive. His feet, the, the more his feet are moving, you're just not going to bring him down. Second and two now for Port Orange at their own 43-yard line. Five and a half minutes to go. Port Orange leads by seven. So if they can just ultimately waste time on this drive, in their case, hope to score at the end of it. Play fake here. Washington up the middle. Break sheds a tackle. Washington, though, will get met. Trying to have a second effort here. <laughs> And the ball comes out with Vieira, but there's not ruling in a fumble. That'll bring up the, all the second, third, fourth efforts in that pit turn into a Port Orange first down up to their own 48-yard line. <laughs> the PA announcer just called it the dirty prom dance. <laughs> First down and 10 at their own 47, 48 yard line for Port Orange, 48 yard line. Drop, again, Washington just gonna take off. He's got space to the near side. Washington stays up, trying to catch the edge. Trying to get a stiff arm, but Washington will push forward for the first down. Up to the Sun Tree Vieira, 37, 36 yard line. Washington takes it to the Sun Tree Vieira, 36 yard line. First and 10 by the carry by 
Jaden Walsh as we have a water break here. 4.35 to go in the game. Port Orange leads 21-14 as they have first and 10 for the Sun Triviera 36-yard line. Welcome back live here at Vieira Regional Park. First down and 10 for Port Orange from the Vieira Suntry 36 yard line. Port Orange leading 21 14, 4.35 to go in this 11 U game. First and 10 here for Port Orange. Full backfield. Man in motion. Washington turns, fakes the give. Washington up the middle. Good carry on a gain of about six yards. Second and four now for Port Orange from the Sun Tree Vieira 30 yard line. And you know, if you're Port Orange, you, you'll take it. Four or five yards, running the football, stay in bounds, and just let that clock, just let, let it flow. Under four minutes to go now in this game. Port Orange leads by seven. Now they have second and four from the Vieira 30 yard line. Ball snap, throwing over the top, has his man one-on-one. -on -one. Creasy caught, and he's in for a 30-yard Port Orange touchdown. Alexander Creasy, we know he can do it on the ground, but there it is through the air, breaking the only tackle he needed for the touchdown from 30 yards out. This kid is amazing. With 3.30 to go in the game, Port Orange takes a 27-14 lead. Remember the name, Alexander, Alexander Creasy. Creasy. Knew he could run the ball with that pass game. They haven't really been going to. They haven't needed to. Now they do, and it works out perfectly. Here they go on the conversion, running up the middle. Jaden Washington again with the one-point conversion. They're four for four on that front. And with 3.30 to go in the game, Port Orange leads Suntree Vieira 28-14. to 14. Should I, which one? Fan. From Paige. Go. Welcome back, everyone, live to, live to Vieira Regional Park. First down and 10. Sun Tree Vieira, they're on 35-yard line. Their first down run, though, is a loss of yards here with three minutes to go in the game. Sun Tree Vieira trails by 14. Now. We have seen Elia Lewis's ability to bust a 65 yard. However, time is very much short. Might have to look for the pa to the passing game here at some point. Teeter can also run. Second and 11 here for Sun Trivier at their own 34 yard line. Quarterback pitch here. Trying to get to the outside. Julian Nazario. Nazario down the sideline. Dives for the first and he'll get there. First down, Sun Tree Vieira up to their own 45 yard line on a gain of 11 by Julian Nazario. 2.15 to go in the game now. 
flag on the play, actually. That'll go against Sun Tree Vieira, so never mind. No first down there. And that'll back him up big time. It was already second and 11. Still marching back. Wow, that is going to be 10 yard penalty. Second and 21 now. Second and 21 for Sun Tree Vieira back at their own 24 yard line. That's a tough break. Nazario picked up the first down, but now it's second and 21. With only two minutes to go in the game, they got to get something here fast if they want a shot at it. Quarterback rolls right, throws. It's hauled in on the screen, and he's going the other way. That's not a good idea ever on a screen pass. You just want to turn it upfield. The reception by number zero, Malachi Teeter. Teeter to Teeter connection there for a loss. Third down after the loss of four. It's a third and 25 now for Sun Tree Vieira back at their own 20. Last time they got bailed out by penalties on third and long. Let's see if they can get some yards here to bring it back. A minute 15 to go only now, though, as Port Orange is looking like they're in the driver's seat. Third and 25 for Sun Tree Vieira back at their own 20 yard line. One minute, less than a minute to go now. Snap low on the ground. Scooped up by Teeter, but that'll bring up fourth. Fourth and 30 now, as that is now the longest down to go that we've had today. Fourth and 30 for Sun Tree Vieira at their own 15 yard line. Most likely the last play of the game. They might not even need it. They'll probably try and run one, though, I assume. So the first two games of the day, 6U, 8U, both Sun Tree Vieira. Now as we get older, 10, 11 U, both Port Orange here. As our uh, this will be the last play of the 11 U game. Last play of the game here for Sun Tree Vieira. Teeter drops, rolls left. He'll take off down the sideline. Teeter just getting some yards here. He'll be brought down, and that'll do it. The 11U game, Port, the Port Orange Hawks beat the Sun Tree Vieira Hawks 28-14. to 14. Coming up soon, don't go anywhere. The 12U game is kicking off in a little bit. <laughs> 